I am tired of all of these ecstasy ecstatic etchings on all of our elastic faces. I have become weary of band-aids and songs and bow ties on poems. So much of my mind would love to be humanist, but I have stitched too many of my own self-inflicted wounds to be able to believe in that. I keep healing myself at the same rate that I am breaking down, yet I am told to make my descent look graceful. I once knew a girl who forced me to wonder how many lies it takes to make a good relationship. I once do I have to pretend when I'm on stage in order to make myself lovable and my message easy to swallow, I am wondering why we wear suits to funerals, why we wear freshly pressed shirts to farewells in the past. The Israelites would wear sackcloth and ashes, they would let the dirt mix with their tears, they looked how they felt. And I understand that we put on these costumes to honor those that have left us, but I can't put mine on without a guilty conscience. Sure, you want honest. Do you really want to know who I stand on curbs as close to the road as I can? And that visions of cars smashing through me that replay and replay and replay and replay bites like the wind, doesn't it? Are you sure you want honest? Because I can't honestly fold my life poem up into a pretty paper crane when I present it to you. Do you really want to know what bipolar disorder does to me? Or do you want me to wrap it up in pretty metaphors and vague but lovely imagery to make it an easy pill to swallow? Because I refuse to make mass media pain medication. I don't want to just help you push your pain to the side catharsis. I want to help you heal from it. And I hope you feel the same way about me. Because these days, we aren't allowed to express it unless it is or ends beautifully, and that scares me. Because some days all I can say are nail on chalkboard words, because my body feels like a chalk outline, but the performers keep telling me I'm beautiful. Have you even looked at me? Because my dear, you can look at this anger wrapped across my chest, and still look me in the eye. That. That would be beautiful. But these bow ties are wrapping around my wrists, dangling me like a puppet, dancing for your smiles and that momentary hope lie. But I cannot wear these costumes because I have had windswept faces crying into my shoulder, telling me how they want to be all right, but they can't make themselves better. What am I supposed to tell them? That their bright-eyed beauty is strong enough to keep the monsters locked inside the closet. That's like telling an alcoholic that his smile is strong enough to keep him from the next drink. I can't just tell them that they'll be fine. But I am praying and pleading that one day they will be. And until that day, I will keep my bow tie and my suit freshly pressed and waiting till I can put them on and not be telling a lie.